Greetings, my friends. Thanks for tuning in again. I think I told you many times before, I'm not a big action figure collector. But on the other hand, it's no secret I'm a big Iron Man fan. And these two interests can collide. With so many action figure releases these days, it is hard to keep track. But when a new Iron Man figure is announced, you will get my attention. Especially if it's the current Iron Man that is currently used in the comics. And if the figure is designed by Alex Ross, one of my favorite artists, then it will be a figure I can't refuse. The idea behind this Iron Man design was a return to basics. And it worked out pretty well if you ask me. The suit does indeed contain some of the classic design elements, without looking old or outdated. It is just too bad the figure doesn't have the chrome finish, like the Iron Man in the comics. But in the end this is just a toy. And with action figures getting more and more expensive every day, you should be careful what you wish for. Ok my friends, time for a closer look. It seems the quality of these figures really did improve a bit. But not as much as the price. I really do wonder who buys action figures these days. Probably not kids, they are too expensive. The figures I mean. It must be old guys like me with a steady income. So maybe I will leave this question unanswered. But what about you faithful viewers? Do you collect action figures? Please leave me a note in the comment for the video and tell me your age. I'm also not a big fan of these smoke and blast effects. I think they look rather cartoonish. But let's try them out anyway. At least we get some extras with the figure. Ok, I have to admit, this doesn't look so bad after all. It somehow fits the overall design of the figure. And it's good to see the figure has, even without chrome, still some shiny parts. Much to my own surprise I like this figure even more than I thought I would. It must be the Alex Ross design. Everything else? Well it's just a standard action figure. Its movements are rather limited. You can't even lift up the arms over the shoulders. But after all I'm quite happy with my latest Iron Man figure. It is a nice figure for a collector. And it will work as a toy too. But I have to repeat myself once again. When did action figures became that expensive? 